Buck, another powerhouse offensive game. They just keep on swinging the bats. Yeah, that was that was impressive. You know, those four innings, their guy, you know, Scott and them spent some time this morning trying to get to know Frederick a little bit. But uh, made the adjustment. Uh, I thought Gardo was, was really good. You know, he got a little tired there at the end. A couple of tours on the bases. I knew he might have some tough time on that, that last uh, inning. We're trying to milk one more out of him. We were wondering, how does the manager feel about that when you got the guy on? Uh, he was on for quite a while in that inning when he got the base hit. It's kind of a rock and a hard place. Well, you need every run you can get. You know? and, and so, you, you know, I've got Brock and Britton rested and, and available today. And uh, Spagna got some outs for us. But uh, I was real encouraged with Gardo. He had a good free arm, late life, and... Uh, you know, left and right. He's a neutral pitcher. He gets left handers out as well as right handers. So we got to see a glimpse of what he could do for us. And we got to see him throw the fastball again and again. I mean, he went to the fastball in a couple of at bats without throwing anything else. Well, you know, you, you get the feeling like when you see him earlier in the year, he was throwing the ball to the catcher instead of through the target. And it's kind of like hitters want to hit through the ball instead of to it. And you see him now throwing the ball, trying to throw the ball through the target. And that tells you that he's feeling a lot better. Feel yourself, uh, ball club in good shape heading up for the four in Seattle. Well, I would have like to stay away from having to get Michael Givens up. You know, that's an inning we need to pitch without having to get another guy up. But, uh, you know, we uh, we didn't, and we survived it. Brad got a big double play ball that shouldn't be forgotten. But thanks. Thank you.